What's going on, family? Please stand by. It's been a while. Y'all already know uh, how y'all been doing. We back in the building. We're going to be talking about the Lions Gate, right? And uh, we're going to cover all through uh, paragraphs in this uh, now moment book. But yeah, appreciate y'all timing in. Make sure y'all share the video, right? As we uh, get ready to start the show. Peace and love, everybody. Peace and love. Gonna be a hot day today, man. Gonna be a real hot one today. So I wanna go and get this out the way so I can enjoy the rest of my day. And uh, keep my mind clear. Back at it tomorrow. So uh, let me know if y'all can hear me clear and everything. We can go and get it started, family. start the show gotta share my disclaimer right for facebook and uh y'all already know this show is for ed educational purposes only and uh if you ain't if you scared of knowledge just go back to the church because uh we looking and searching and we we want the truth not just to feel good so let's get it Check it out yourself as well. Right? Because there ain't no more secrets. Right? There ain't no more secrets. It's just the fact of who you listening to and watching. Right? So, let's get on off into it. Uh, yeah, it just, that's the, uh, let me pin it to the top. Y'all can go read it for yourself. Like I said, it ain't no more secrets. Everything is out there, family. If you're willing to do the research, you will find it, right? So uh, every every year around the eighth, right, the day of the eighth month in uh, of the year, right, August eight, 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 baby. There's a cosmic alignment called the Lion's Gateway. The Lion Gate. 
the lion's gate is is a time of increased cosmic energy flowing between the physical and the spiritual realms right uh, this astrological and spiritual gateway has roots that go back to ancient right Egypt or ancient Kemet and thousands of years and from thousands of years have been observed honored as time of a great energetic right in influx and activation so it's been going on every like I said ever since right and the Dogon knew this that's why they always was looking up at the stars so astro astrology this gateway is marked by an alignment between right the earth planet earth and the star Sirius as the star Sirius rises in the sky, Orion's belt directly aligns with the Pyramid of Giza, right? And from our pers perspective on Earth, it appears that Sirius, right, comes closer to Earth, right? Because it's the brightest star in this galaxy system, right? For a little cosmic perspective, the star Sirius is twice the size of this sun in this uh, galaxy and 26 times brighter. This is why the Lion Gate is such a profound and powerful source of spiritual light available to you during this time, right? Because we in a time of darkness, right? But the light shine through if you go, if you go through the gate. Specifically, the energies of Sirius and this gateway are focused on abundance, harvest, and fertility, right? Which means that the time around the, right, August 8th, Lion's Gate is powerful for manifesting love and prosperity. Why is it called the Lion Gate? Y'all already know next month represents uh, the Zodiac Leo, right? So all the Leos out there, right? And uh, Leo is associated with the heart center, right? That heart chakra. And represents the individualized expression of divine. The Leo energy is perfect stage to anchor the ascension codes and energies of higher consciousness. Broadcasted through the star Sirius and through the uh, great center earth. Central earth. Apologize, family. When this alignment happens, there is an intense surge of light, which awakens DNA. That's why they want you to get the Novocaine shot, right? They don't want your DNA to awaken. Activates the human energy fields and transmit high vibrational frequencies and codes of awakening. Light codes of ascension, mastery, and elevation from Sirius, right? Sometimes called the spiritual sun, pour, pour towards Earth, offering humanity another level of activation and opportunity for progression on the ascension path because that's what they don't want. They don't want nobody to ascend, right? The Lion's Gate energy is all about more fully Awakening your divine light and embodying divinity within a physical form, within a physical form. The Leo energy that we all experiencing, regardless of your personal zodiac sign, right? Because you know we we really not our person, you know, we really not our zodiac sign. It's just, you know, you you know what I'm saying? It, we the stars. So we make all of these things happen, right? is associated with royalty and so this alignment can be seen as an awakening right the, the, the royal codes of higher living which are available for everybody right you tap in and if your heart is right mm -hmm. the gateway creates an incredible period of accelerated ascension and this year amidst uh, the already portion waves of change and transformation is supercharged so this brings up important question right 
how do you tune in and access the powers, the powerful energies available to you during this powerful time? Um, let's go on down. To support during this profound gateway, I've been guided to release, right, these, you know, five frequencies or uh, angel activation. But like I said, that's going to be it, family. Y'all can go check the rest out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as I said, get your tuning forks. You know what I'm talking about? That's how you're going to raise your frequency up. Uh, you got to detox, right? Uh, detox from the matrix. Slow down on indulging so much, right? And everything ain't going to come through, right? They gonna wake, you know, people gonna wake up regardless. So, we gonna take us a little break before we get off into this power of now. And, um, and see how much I'm gonna cover. It's not a long chapter, but we'll be right back, you know, pay a few bills and I'll be right back, family. out there like I said it's so many so um, yeah Google Brothers Panic book list and that'll give you all of Bill Fire books you know what I'm saying depending on what type of um, subject or matter that you're looking for when it comes to them books because there's so many right so yeah peace family let's get off into this book here uh, Power of the Now by Eckhart Tolle all right, in chapter one is um, you are not your mind, right? And when we say mind, we speaking of the brain, right? Because you got you got the supreme mind, right? We speaking on the brain, and they speaking on this. And uh, the greatest obstacle to enlightenment, a beggar has been sitting by. Hold on, let me say what, enlightenment. What is it? A beggar had been sitting. By the side of the road for 20 years, right? Just giving you an analogy. Um, one day a stranger walked by. Spare me some change, mumbled the beggar, mechanically holding his old basketball cap. All right? He said, I have nothing to give you, said the stranger. Then he asked, What's that you're sitting on, right? Nothing, replied the beggar. Just an old box. I've been sitting on it for as long as I can remember, right? <laughs> uh, ever looked inside of it, asked the stranger. No, said the beggar. What's the point? There's nothing in it. Have a look inside, insisted the stranger. The beggar managed to pry open the lid with astonishment, disbelief, right? He saw that the box was, was filled with gold. I am that stranger who has nothing to give you and willing, um, excuse me, family, and who is telling you to look inside, right? Not inside any box, as in the parable, but somewhere even closer inside yourself family but I am not a beggar I can hear you say right those who 
those who have not found their true wealth, which is the radiant joy of being in that deep, unshakable peace that comes with it, are beggars, even if they have great material wealth, they are looking outside for scraps of pleasure or fulfillment for validation, security, or love while they have a treasure within them, right? That not only includes all those things, but is infinitely greater than anything the world can offer, right? Because we know the world is withering away, right? The world that we know of, right? The word enlightenment conjures up the idea of some superhuman accomplishment, right? And the ego likes to keep it that way, right? But it is simply your natural state of felt wanting oneness with being. It is the state of connection, right? With something immeasurable and indestructible. Something that almost paradoxically is essentially you and yet it is much greater than you. It is finding your true nat your true nature beyond name and form, right? The, the ability to feel this connection gives rise to the to the illusion of separation from yourself and from the world around you. You then perceive yourself constant consciously and unconsciously, right? As an isolated fragment, fear arises and conflict within, within and without becomes the norm. I love the Buddha's simple de definition of enlightenment as the end of suffering, right? There is nothing superhuman in that there, of course. As a definition, it is incomplete. It only tells you what enlightenment is not not suffering right but what's left when there is no more suffering the buddha is is silent on that right he is his silence impels that you will you will find you will have to find out for yourself right he uses a negative definition so that the mind cannot make make it into something to believe in or into a superhuman accomplishment, a goal that is impossible for you to attain, despite right the the precaution. The major the majority of Buddhists still believe that enlightenment is for the Buddha, right? But we all the Buddha family, not for them. At least not in this lifetime. You use the word being can you explain what you mean by that? That's the question. Being is the uh, being is the eternal, right? Ever present, one life beyond form of life that a sub that are subject to birth and death. However, being is not only beyond, but also within every form as in the innermost invisible and indestructible essence, right? Your soul. This means that it is accept acceptable to you, accessible to you now as your own deepest self, right? Your true nature, but do not seek to grasp it when your mind, with your mind, right? Talking about the brain. Do, do not try to understand it. You can know it only when the mind is still, when you are present, when you, when your attention is fully and intensively in the now. Being can be felt, but it can never be understood mentally, right? To regain, to regain awareness of being and to abide in the state of feeling realize is and is enlightening when you say being are you talking about god right this this what we this part i like right here when we get off in here 
If you are, then why don't you say it? The word G-O-D, you know, I ain't gonna say it, family, because y'all already know what time it is, has become empty of meaning through thousands of years, right? This is what we finna get off into. Mm, um, misuse. I use it sometimes, but I do not, I, excuse me, family, but I do so sparingly, right? By misuse, I mean that people who have never ever glimpsed the realm of the, the sacred, right? The infinite vastness beyond the word, use it with a great conviction as if they know that if they know what they are talking about, right? Or they argue against it as if they knew what it is that they are denying. The misuse gives rise to a bruise of absurd beliefs, obsessions and ego delusions, right? Such as my or our G.O.D. is the only true G.O.D. or your G.O.D. is false, right? Uh, that's that's what he uh, quoted out of the book of um, God. G.O.D. is dead. The word G.O.D. has become a closed concept, right? The moment the word is uttered, a mental image is created. No longer, right? Perhaps of an old man with the white beard. Y'all already know but still a mental rep representation of someone or something outside of you. And yes, almost inevitable, a male, right? Someone or something, right? Neither G-O-D nor being nor any other word can define or explain the infabulous reality beyond the word, right? So the only important question is whether the word is a help or a hindrance in enabling your you to experience, right? That towards which it points. Does it point beyond itself to that transcendental, transcendental reality or does it lead itself to easy to becoming no more than an idea in your head that you believe in a mental idol. Mm. And that's why I've said the, the, the image of this Jesus and all of this stuff, it done became an entity. It ain't nothing but a mental idol. You are the supreme being, right? The word being explains nothing, but nor does G-O-D. Being, however, has the advantage that it is an open concept. It does not reduce the infinite and visible to a finite entity. It is impossible to form a mental image of it. Nobody can claim exclusive uh, possession of being, right? It is your very essence. And it is immediately accessible to you as the feeling of your own presence, the realization, I am. This is prior to I am this, I am that. So it only, yeah, so it is only a small step from the word being to the experience of being right that's why we say don't trust humans because they being a human when you a spiritual being having a spirit when you a spiritual being having a human experience right you don't be a human you are you know you experiencing being a human being uh what is the greatest obstacle to ex uh expectation this uh Reality, identification with your mind, which causes thought to become compulsive, right? Not to be able to stop thinking is a dreadful affliction, right? 
but we do not realize this because almost everybody is suffering from it. So it is considered normal. This instance, mental noise prevents you from finding the realm of inner stillness that is in, in, inspirable from being. It also creates a false mind made self that casts a shadow of fear and suffering. This is why it's going on, right? So like I was saying yesterday, they they got to elevate from the church. They just stopped going to church, but they never got the truth. We will look at all that is more detailed later. Uh, the, the philosophical, the philosopher, uh, this, this great believed that he had found the most fundamental truth when he had made his famous statement, I think, therefore I am. He made it in fact, giving expression to the most basic era, to equity thinking with being and identity with thinking. The compulsive thinker, which, make, which means almost everyone lives in a state of apparent separation, right? In a inst inst instantly complex world of continuous problems and conflict, a world that reflects that the world that reflects a world that reflects the ever increasing fragmenting of the mind. Enlightenment is a state of wholeness of being at one and therefore at peace. Right, because peace begins within. At one, at one with life, in its manifested aspect, the world as well as with your deepest self and life unmanifested. Unmanif at one with being, enlightenment is not only the end of suffering and of continuousness conflict within and without, but also the end of dreadful enslavement to right thinking. What an incredible liberation to this, right? This is identification with your mind creates a scene of concepts, labels, images, words, judgments, and definitions that block all true relationships, right? Let me say that again. Identification with your mind creates a scene of concepts, labels, images, words, judgments, and definitions that block all true relationships. It comes between you and yourself, between you and your fellow men, fellow man and woman, between you and nature. Between you and G.O.D. It is this. It is. Hold up, family. <laughs> it is this scene of thought that creates the illusion of separation. Right? The illusion. Because we all want. The illusion that there is you and a total separate other. You then forget the essential fact that underneath that. Underneath the level of physical appearance and separate forms, you are one with all of that is, right? You are one with all that is, right? Just like it's a light side to God, it's a dark side to him. By forget, I mean that you can no longer feel this oneness and self-evident reality. You may believe it to be true, but you no longer know it to be true, right? We went to sleep, right? We fell asleep on our own self, and now we waking back up. A belief may be confronting only through your own experience. However, does it become liberating? Thinking has become a disease, right? Man, thinking has become a disease, family.
And cause why? Most people thinking on on some crazy stuff, right? And now you'll see why the crown's upside down. Thinking has become a disease. Disease happen when things get out of balance. For example, there is nothing wrong with cells dividing and multiplying in the body. But when this process continues, it's disregarded of the total organisms, cells we all have. The mind is a superb instrument right <laughs> been saying that that's why you gotta get the tuning forks tune your body up tune your mind up if used right rightly used wrongly however it becomes very destructive to put in more uh, accurate, accurately it is not so much that you use your mind wrongly right you use you usually don't use it at all. Mm. You usually don't use it at all. <laughs> Damn. It uses you, family. Mm. It uses you. Man. This is the this is the disease. Man, that's that's deep, family. You believe that you are your mind, right? You believe that you are your brain, right? That's what we talking about when you say mind, all right? The instrument has taken you over. Man, <laughs> he uh, said, uh, I don't quite agree. It is true that I do a lot of aimlessly thinking like most people. But I can still choose to use my mind to get and accomplish things, right? And I do that all the time. Uh, what time we at, family? want to be too long. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to keep going. We're going to knock this one on out. Uh, let's continue. Just because you can solve a crossword puzzle or build an atom bomb doesn't mean that you use your mind. Just as dogs love to chew bones, the mind loves to get its teeth into problems. Mmm. Let's read that over. Let's read that over. Just because you can solve a crossword puzzle or build an atom bomb doesn't mean that you're using your mind. Just as dogs love to chew bones, the mind loves to get its teeth into problems, family. This is why it does crossword puzzles and builds atom bombs. You can have no interest in either. Let me ask you this. Can you be free of your mind whenever you want to? Have you, uh, yeah, have you found the off button, right? You mean, uh, let's continue. You mean stop thinking all together? No, I can't. Ex except maybe for a moment or two. Then the mind is using you. Mm. Like we said, the matrix, the matrix is the mind. They showed you in the movie, right? <laughs> the mind is using you. You are unconsciously identified with it. So you do not know that you are its slave, right? They talking about oppression? Nah. They know how to work our mind. They know which buttons to press, right? Ain't no oppression, right? Ain't no oppressor. It's the mind. It's almost as if you were possessed without knowing it. <clears throat> you see it today too, don't you? Uh, man, they, they don't even know it. And so, you take the possession entity to be yourself, right? And so you take the possessing entity to be yourself. The beginning of freedom 
is the realization that you are not the possessing entity, the thinker. Knowing this enables you to observe the entity. The moment you start watching the thinker, a high, a higher level of consciousness becomes activated, family. You then begin to realize that there is a vast realm of intelligence beyond thought, right? Beyond thought. That thought is only a tiny aspect of that intelligence. That's why they say we only use 5% of our brain, right? Mm. You also realize that all things that truly matter, beauty, love, creativity, joy, inner peace, arise from beyond the mind, right? You begin to awaken, family. So, um. Uh, we probably going to finish the last of this chapter, first chapter, and we going to get back off into it, family. Because like I said, uh, back at it to another double tomorrow. So, it is what it is, family. Um, I ain't want to hold nobody up wrong today. So, uh, oh yeah, I see y'all. He said, uh, what book I'm reading? The Power of Now by Eckhart Hart. Right? Echo Heart totally. Let me put it in the um, comments so y'all can go get it for yourself and read it for yourself, right? But the power of now. Because uh, y'all already know, family, the truth out there. They've been knowing our truth for years, right? As long as we ain't read, we won't know. But uh, those that's on the frequency, they are already getting the light codes and uh, waking up anyway. So, yeah, The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Y'all can go get it for yourself. Uh, if you can't find it, uh, hit me up, hit the cash app, and I can send it to you through PDF, right? Uh, yeah, I appreciate all everybody, family. Like I said, stay on the frequency. Stay on the frequency. That's the energy, y'all. Uh, we get ready to go through this line gate portal. It's only, like I said, it's only going to get harder because they know our DNA is going to activate regardless, right? Because we are one with the Supreme Being, right? So, um, uh, yeah, message me if you you can't you don't want to wait. If, you know, if you don't want to wait, just message me and I can uh, send you a copy of PDF. You uh, know, y'all enjoy y'all weekend, family. Like I said, it's gonna be another long one for me. But uh, we gon' we gotta get we gotta fast we gotta fast we gotta we gotta do whatever whatever you your spirit telling you right. Because you got so many people, man, talking about this prophetic word. And God told me to tell you this, man. Don't be listening to them type of people. Because anybody can tap in and channel any any message, right? But if they really are getting it from the true supreme being, it's the question, right? Is they really truly getting it from the true supreme being? So, uh. As we get up out of here, family, y'all already know, peace, love, light, and respect to the family. Y'all stay on the frequency. So much madness going on in the world to the point where it's just like, man, you feel the energy. You feel the energy, right? You feel the Mother Earth crying out. Uh... I don't really know how much it is because like I said, I be buying so many books. I got so much stuff that I don't be knowing, you know. When I buy it, I just buy it because I want to know. So, uh, like I said, uh, just message me, you know, whatever you got, you know what I'm saying? You can just message me and I'll send it to you, you know, if you don't want to pay the original price. But, um, yeah, family, the Lions Gate portal. Well, I say he just walked through it, right? And y'all feel the energy. Y'all feel it. You know, God.
got so many people talking about, you don't know, telling people to go get this Novocaine. Okay. They gonna see. They gonna see, fam. You gotta get into the power of now. Right? There's no, there's truly no separation, right? Right? There's no true separation. We all one at the end of the day. So with all that being said, family, I appreciate everybody timing in. Y'all have a man, great weekend. Got to go out here and get me some of this sun, baby. Like I said, did that double the other night and had to get right back up and go back to work. So my first little day off. So, yeah, we finna get up out of here, family. Till next time, y'all already know. We'll probably make it the last, the next one a little longer. Uh, but like I said, it's all good, family. Stay on the frequency. Love y'all. Peace. Black man, black man, black man, black man. Living in his life as a black man. They don't wanna see you win as a black man. Living in his world of sin as a black man. Black man, black man, black man. Gotta go a little hard as a black man. Gotta be a lot smarter as a black man. Wanna see you win as a black man?